Here's a thoughtful question. Will God banish me from His kingdom because I worship on Sunday? I was told that if I break just one of His commandments, I've broken them all. All right. Good question. Uh, first of all, there'll be a lot of people in heaven, millions, who kept the first day as their Sabbath. Amen? God winks at the times of ignorance. And again, I'll reiterate, there will be people in heaven who had slaves. There will be people in heaven who had too many wives because God winked at their ignorance. Sin is knowing to do good and not doing it. And so, in the same way, when a person learns the Sabbath truth, when they learn any biblical truth, Jesus said, if you know these things, happy are ye if you do them. Christ said, the wise man is the one who hears the words of Christ and does them. And so, if we know what God's will is and we don't do it, then Jesus said, it's like those who say, Lord, Lord, and do not the things he says. That's dangerous. Whatever the category is, whether it's the Sabbath truth or any truth that God reveals, if he reveals it, it's not to be a burden. It's a blessing. Amen? Mm -hmm. So walk in the light when you have the light. Here's an earnest question. I have been attending your seminar at the local Adventist church. Last night you discussed the actual Sabbath. I am Baptist and I attend church on Sunday. I went home and looked up the passages you gave last night myself. I now believe Saturday is the Sabbath. What do I do now? I love my church and my family, my church oh, family. Man, that's, well, the best way you can help your family and your church family when God reveals new truth to you is make sure that you've got your feet absolutely welded to the rock of truth. Get grounded in the truth, continue to study, take a stand for the truth, and then as God presents opportunity, gracefully, lovingly share what God has given to you. You grow in the truth as you share it with others. And so that's why we do these seminars, hoping to spread the truth that it'll cause an exponential um, pandemic of truth. No, that's not a good thing. <laughs> we, we want it to spread everywhere. Revival. That's it. That's revival, it, a revival. Revival of truth. Pastor Doug, how about those who work in the medical field? Can they work on the Sabbath? Well, did Jesus heal on the Sabbath day? So he said it's better to do good. Obviously, there are those who need things seven days a week, urgent, critical, essential care. And I think if you're in the medical field and you're working with a hospital, as far as possible, try to arrange your schedule so that you don't have to be missing church every Sabbath or your faith gets weak. Alternate with uh, other employees. And uh, I think that if you're in a situation where you can get every Sabbath off, then great, do that. That's even better. There might be others who are willing to work that day, and you can work Sunday. So just don't want to get in a habit of working every Sabbath so you miss your worship.